Welcome back. March is Red Cross Month and it's a time to honor those who deliver community care during emergencies. And joining us in studio this evening is Red Cross Executive Director Karen McCoy. Karen, welcome to the program. Thank you so much for having me. We're happy to have you. Uh, tell us how long have you been with the Red Cross? So I've been with the Red Cross, oh goodness, 17 years now. Wow. So I started many years ago and I just love our mission and I love our people that I work with and volunteer. So I've stayed all these years. Wow, that's incredible. Um, yeah. So you speak of your mission. Tell us a little bit about that. So our mission, you know, our mission statement is to prevent and alleviate human suffering. And really what we do here is we help um, those that have um, had a disaster. As you well know, we've had many disasters here, especially um, in our state. And so it's to help those people that have gone through a traumatic event. That can be a home fire, that could be a flood, that could be a tornado, a hurricane, um, just a variety of disasters. Um, in addition to that, we we also do, um, you know, military service to armed forces. So we do a lot of work with Barksdale um, and we do health and tr uh, training classes also. That's first aid CPR. And I understand that you specifically oversee North Louisiana, is that, that is correct? correct. That so is correct. So tell me a little bit about what your work looks like specifically in this area. In this area. So in this area, we have a lot of tornadoes. Um, we have a lot of, you know, weather events. So just last summer, um, as you know, we had that weather event that left us without power for a couple of weeks. Um, and so we had a lot of our residents that did not have electricity. Um, and that, in that extreme heat is um, crucial that they were able to get them into a shelter, get them into a cooling center um, so that they um, can have a warm meal to eat, so they can have a cool place to sleep. So that's just an example of one thing. We also had an F2 tornado right here in Shreveport. Um, and, you know, we immediately went out to that area, um, provided assistance to those people who, who lost everything. We actually had a fatality um, in that one. And um, I had gone out there and literally where there were homes, it was just land. Um, you could not even tell that there, were, uh, there was ever a home there. So um, things like that, back to the floods that we had in 2016. Um, so oh. it's a variety of things that we have here. Um, we're always getting hit with, with something different and it's, and it's coming quicker now than than ever before. And you were telling me earlier, you know, when it comes to being in Louisiana, we're very familiar mm -hmm. with these natural disasters. Right. So uh, your branch um, and, Red, and Red Cross, you guys right. also help, um, you know, on a broader scale. You know, I know that we were helping um, our parent company, Nexstar, yeah. And uh, you guys did a partnership to help with the Maui wildfires, and you do a lot of that. That's as well. correct. That's correct. Um, so when we have, um, we're the largest humanitarian organization in the world, yeah. um, and with that, it allows us to help our citizens and our uh, friends and uh, neighbors in other areas that have a large-scale disaster, such as the Maui wildfires. And in Louisiana, since we have some of the most experienced volunteers, as a result of having a number of disasters that we um, respond to right here in our state, we're one of the top ones actually, that um, we can then send over to areas such as Maui to help them in their response and that's exactly what we did when, when that occurred. Well, we're very grateful for the work that you guys do. Thank you so um, much. And you know, if people do want to get involved or help you guys, how, are, how can they do that? So go to redcross.org. We would love to have you volunteer. We're always looking for volunteers. So redcross.org backslash volunteer. Um, and we'll also take financial donations. We don't have the ability to take um, items as we don't have the warehouse space and the ability to sort and go through that. But um, we're always looking for volunteers and financial donations. Great, Karen, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Keep it here, guys. We'll be right back.